hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Prey 2017 playthrough with your host Ferris and yeah um, just gonna keep going here simulation in progress only approved items past this point so last time we woke up in our apartment we just accepted position the family business with our brother Alex and we're going in for the first day of work it went horribly wrong we woke up the next day and it was deja vu until we break through the patio of our apartment and come through here and realize it's all been a simulation all along. And so here we are. Computer button. Mixer. Filter. Remote manipulation. Non-local, super luminal. I think I already read that. Maximum entangled state. Shannon entropy make. Huh. From next week's test. From Sylvain to Jovan and Marco. Jovan. And I, I don't know if that's how you... Joven, maybe. We'll need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Room A, area of effect. Room B, copycat. Room C, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Sylvain. And that same email. Urgent from Marco to Joven. Oh. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Marco Simmons. So we gotta go find Belem Bellamy. I guess he's a corpse. Thought we heard a log. Play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the keycard, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Well, I like that. Caleb Hawthorne. Ooh, it's locked. It needs to be hacked. Which I believe that's what that does. Yeah, hacking. Interesting. Muscle profile. There's a mimic about. Oh! That was like a critical. Ah, oh, that feels good. <laughs> Simulation question from Marco to Alice. Hey Alice, I'll send you the white paper for or paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's po impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. Got it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back, hence the apartment sim. Yes, yous are dedicated to their science is all I can say. I'll send you the white paper. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
Okay, hit me up for lunch later. That's all we got from that for now. Okay. So, there's a key card we can find to get through here. Another one, all right. He did surprise me that time. Okay, let's check our indiv indiv-inventory. Um, let me, you know what? I'm gonna drink that. And I think... So we've got a status, and our health is going up slowly. Stand-up notes. Test for 324. Reorder tests. Lucia on observation. See Bellamy. Flammability tests canceled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before the test. There's another one around here. Somewhere. That was kind of a guess. Because there's two of these coffee mugs here. But I'm looking for mimics, you see. There were a bunch of these stools, so one more kind of didn't seem really all that out of place. But turns out it was! Personality drift results from Jiao Long Heng to Sylvain. Dr. Balemi, here are the results from today's personality tests. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test is pasted below for reference. Yeah. Daily tests from Evelyn Mc McCarthy. To Sylvain. Dr. Bellamy, at this point Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely, Evelyn. Have my people seen been coming to you? From M Matthias Cole. Sil. Yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the Psychotronics staff. Psychotronics. Yikes. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. Going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting with Ice Cole. Okay. There's nothing else here, right? Yeah. I'm taking your plants. Okay, so I think we now have access through that door. That will restore one health point. I'm gonna go through here though. Because it pointed it out, so. We'll see what we can see. Oh, it looks like it's pretty straightforward. It goes to the other side. Gotcha. Oh. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. 
numerous skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claimed that they thought of it first. Yeah, that does sound pretty familiar. Fancy stuff. A bit of a map. Observation, testing rooms, neuromod, debriefing, storage simulator, storage B. Search and design, control room B. It just warped behind me. <laughs> Glue. Glue cannon. The trans star glue cannon. Jellifoam lattice organism obstructor. <laughs> Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric or arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a clim climbable platform. Another tea. Um. Isn't there like a oh, okay, there we go. I'm literally, I'm just gonna sneak around as much as I can. What is this? Oh. Thought it was like hidden. You had to discover what the item was. Favorites wheel, the favorites wheel, allows you to quickly select and use weapons and eventually side powers. Press, well, I've already been using it, so thank you. All right, I think I can risk a little less sneak as soon as I say that I heard uh, trilling or something. Neuromods and abilities. Neuromods are, the Neuromod is a revolutionary. Tr <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 
revolutionary Transtar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Oh. Okay, so we've got scientist, engineer, and security. What is this? Physician. Your knowledge of medical practice increases the effectiveness of medkits to 150%. That's nice. Bypass level 1 security measures on computers and robotic systems. Hacking one. Very useful. I may, may have to go with that. So this stuff we can't quite get yet. Repair one. Fix broken graph shafts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts. If survival mode is enabled, use spare parts to repair, repair damaged weapons. Oof. Lift out heavy objects with ease and throw objects further. Thrown objects will damage enemies. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Conditioning increases your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint 5% faster. Uh, I think I'm going to go with hacking first. He's got a bit of a cycle. It's hard to tell which way they're looking, I guess. another status. I think I've been doing too much killing. These are like steampunk toilets. Oh, cool. Crumpled paper. Better bring that. Never know when we'll need it. Some tea. check, you know? You never know. So we can't check the other restroom just yet. Here, cool, cool. Fountain 
sounds a little bit like could be something. Something was clipping, I think. Cigarettes. Yeah, can we take those? <laughs> Why would they use a projection monitor like that? Oh, interesting. Projector colors are still wrong, <laughs> Dr. Igui. Robert? Hey, Alice! Thank God! No one else is- Where are you? Hiding! I'm in the conference room! I, I can't- Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out! There's- What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh! Hang on. Someone's coming. Wow. <sighs> I am definitely getting System Shock vibes from playing this. The skill recording room, restricted access, C security for entrance. I don't think I can get into security still. Actually, maybe I can. Hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill lev levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. Navigate the bitstream to reach the target. What's inside? Do something. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, so that was a weapon upgrade kit. Um, I don't think I can hack this. So. Oh, reminder bringing. Bring turrets up to fabrication. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool. There's other stuff I can hack. I'm gonna go back real quick and skill recorder analysis. So that phantom was in here somewhere. Keys. go in there, but we had the key card for this, and we just hadn't used it yet. Now, let's see. Igwe's talk from Headley Delton to Caleb. Tell me about, or let's see. Let's start with this one. From Caleb to Headley. 
I join you in the cafeteria, but Igwe's got a lecture scheduled. Here's hoping he gets right to the Nero mod updates so we can do a paper eval on the tech side. But you know Igwe, he'll go Zener on us for half hour or for an hour until we're all seeing circles and wavy lines. You'd think he'd have learned Earthside to stay focused. Tell me about it. I don't know what scares me more, the time Dr. Wiggy spends in the lab or when he takes the stage. It's like listening to a metronome. Interesting. It is all so interesting. <coughs> we already went up there. Okay, well, I think... Cleared out most of this area to the best of our abilities at the moment. So, let's proceed. I think I'm going to kind of briefly check out the lobby here. A mysterious contact named January is guiding you to the main lobby of this facility. Yeah, going to check it out briefly, and then we'll call it for this episode. Take a break. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Ash Underwood. Nothing in there. We're moving. We're in space. Okay. Yeah. We... Is that Earth? Well, I think here's as good a spot as any to leave it. I have been Ferris Creek. Thanks as always for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay safe out there.